So yes, the race uh, pitting the former Prime Minister Relo Odinga against uh, the Deputy President William Ruto. Odinga is leading Ruto in the polls. Um, but let's chat to Sarah Kamani. It doesn't necessarily mean a win. Uh, Sarah, like you said, this is going to be very, very tight. Yes, indeed, it's going to be a very tight race, and it's all systems go, ready to uh, go to the polls tomorrow. Polls open at 6 in the morning, Kenyan time. We've just had that press conference by Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission saying all is set, apart from in at least four areas where there was a mismatch in the printing of the ballot papers, so those elections will be suspended for now, but the rest of the elections go on, and the country is ready to have its fifth president going by the chatter on social media, going by the chatter on the streets. Tomorrow is a public holiday here so that everybody can be able to go out and vote. 22.1 million registered voters. Uh, the, the mood um, amongst communities, Sarah, can you pick that up? Of course, Kenya is always a concern because there has been electoral violence uh, following polls in the past. Well, uh, the pregnant with hope. The country is uh, hopeful that this time uh, citizens have learned their lessons. They will go to the ballot, vote for their preferred can candidate, and wait for the results. Also, uh, hopeful that indeed the two presidential front runners will keep to their word that they will honor uh, the decision of the people and the outcome of the election, because both of them in their last rally said that they will accept the will of the people, that in case they contest the results, then they will go to court and there will be no running battles on the streets. But in Kenya, it is impossible to tell what will happen. Today, we saw a bit of tensions as electoral material was being transported with uh, some Kenyans saying maybe the rigging process has started. And so there was a bit of uh, chaos in one part of the country, a place called Chuka, but so far, so good. Let's uh, look at the presidential candidates. Odinga has run several times and lost several times. What difference does it make that he's being uh, endorsed by the current president, Uhuru Kenyatta, this time, who was once um, his, his bitter rival? Yeah, it's indeed, uh, Odinga, now 77, is running for the fifth time. He insists that he has been cheated of his victory three times. And when we had an interview with him early, uh, late last month, he said that he is running again this time because the people want him to run. We brought up the issue of Uhuru Kenyatta and whether the support by President Uhuru Kenyatta will work against him. But he says President Kenyatta is just one of the many Kenyans who are throwing their weight behind him. He insists he is still uh, running with the same things that he, ha he has uh, run before, uh, fighting uh, for reforms in the country, seeing it to it that the 2010 constitution, said to be one of the most progressive constitutions in the country, is, uh, is uh, instituted and is put in place to the letter. He says he's going to fight corruption. He says he's going to uh, bring down the cost of living. But he also says he will be speaking for majority of Kenyans who have not heard their voice and whose voices, he says, mm -hmm. have been denied during the last three elections when he insists he was cheated off his victory. Now, the fact that Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting him has also uh, brought in some kind of conflict with uh, Deputy President William Ruto feeling cheated of his possible succession. But he's saying that he's also in the race to win. So it will be interesting to see whether uh, the Uhuru Kenyatta factor will play for or against former Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Indeed it will. And you mentioned one of the huge issues in this election, uh, the rising cost of living and unemployment, all the things that we as South Africa are facing as well. Um, Ruto was apparently once a street uh, trader and he uh, says he's a hustler and he's in touch with the poor. Um, he, he likes to separate himself from from the elite and, and puts Odinga there with the dynasty. Uh, will that stand him in good stead because the economy is so big this time? Uh, yeah. 
Yes, indeed. Uh, the economy is big, and I'll tell you, uh, Ruto managed to single-handedly uh, bring the issue of the economy on the debate, on the minds of many, and as a campaign issue. Previously, uh, in Kenya, Kenyans have voted along tribal lines. So what would have been happening now, the arithmetic around the elections would have been which tribe is big and which tribe is doing well. But this time, the conversation has changed, and people are talking about the youth, the unemployed youth. Uh, the people who are not able to put food on the table. And that is why even our former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, in his campaign here to come up now with what he's saying, uh, giving 6,000 shillings to the people who cannot be able to afford uh, food, the vulnerable people. Uh, William Ruto talking about the Hustlers Fund, where he is saying at least $500 million will be given uh, to the youth and to women in order for them to be able to improve their businesses. But which, whatever happens, for both of them, whoever wins, they will have a serious issue because even before they can fulfill their pledges, whatever they have uh, said they will fulfill, they will be facing a hungry and angry population. So mm. they must deal very quickly with the issue of unemployment, but most immediately, a lot of people who cannot afford to put food on their table as we speak. Yeah, and the rising cost of living uh, will be the election issue for a while. Thank you very much. And uh, as Bungiwe said and, and Sarah has intimated, we will be there uh, on the ground live for you as the polls open tomorrow. That was SABC News correspondent Sarah Kimani.